Madam. Hello. You don't even know what I'm going to say. I thought you said hello. Oh, I thought you said no. Oh, I said hello. <laughs> hello there, madam. Has anyone ever offered you a free translation of the Quran? No, they haven't. Can I be the first? I, I'm sort of one of those weird sort of slight atheist. atheist. And actually, you know what? My, my father-in-law was a Muslim, and I swear to God, I have a copy at home yep. that I haven't looked at. So. <coughs> okay. Can something come from nothing? Well, I mean, you know, it depends on what it is. I mean, obviously, can something come Anything. from... Anything. Yeah. Give, me, give me an example of something coming from nothing. Um, if you wouldn't mind. No, I can't. I'm... And I, do you know what? I, I'm not... I'm not going to take your Quran today. Mm. No, no, That's well, literally well, because I have one. Yeah, yeah, no, I appreciate that. I haven't looked at. And I appreciate um, that. I'm to, hopefully, by the end of this conversation, very quick, brief conversation, you'll be more inspired to read the Quran in your house. I might. I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Just, no, no, fair enough. But I'm, I've just come home. No, I literally just did a workshop, an antenatal workshop, and I really want to go home. So you got five me? minutes. I'm literally gonna put a time on my phone because I, I talk a lot. If I don't put a time on and my I've phone, I'm gonna carry on. Just talked a lot in my workshop. Yeah. You seem like what are you trying to say? What are you gonna tell me? Um, I'm gonna challenge your atheism and well, say sort of that it's I'm more logical and rational to believe in a creator than yeah. not to believe no, in actually, one. No, actually, okay, I'm not, I'm not an atheist. I am, I'm a lapsed Christian. So I'm, I'm sort of one of those kind of people who sort of believe in God but doesn't really sort of... You know, Prescribe any specific religion? Yeah, probably more because that's what I was brought up with. I'm probably more Christian than anything else. Okay. So I do believe in the creator. Is Jesus Christ God or is he sent by God? He's been sent by God. Okay. Do you have a concept of the Trinity? Yeah. So, do you believe in Trinity? Yeah, it gets a bit Catholic for me there with the Holy Ghost, I have to say. I mean, do know. you believe in Trinity, madam? I'm, I'm, I'm on the clock, so I'm yeah, going to have to yeah, rush okay, you for okay, an answer. On, I mean, I'm going to say... Uh, it's I'm yes say, or no? Uh, I need a word, madam. No. I need, no. no. All right. Then that's fine, because that actually coincides with your previous statement because Trinity means Jesus Christ is God yeah. the Father in Heaven is God and the yeah. Holy Spirit is God it's yeah. not three gods but they're one God yeah. and I'm saying Jesus Christ didn't teach this um, it's not a natural belief and yeah no that's sort of sort of slightly Catholic isn't it yeah. okay so at the moment you believe in a creator Jesus Christ was he a messenger of God yes Oh, well, look, he's nodding. I'm saying the right things. You are, you are. You're passing that test, madam. <laughs> yeah, well done. Well, well played. Well played, madam. Okay. okay. So I'm just trying to think. We actually have the exact same belief. Yeah. So now I'm going to define God. See if we can continue to agree. Yeah. yeah in the next three minutes, yeah, twenty go seconds. On. Um, in the Quran, there's a full and definition of Allah given, which yes. is say Allah is uniquely one. Yeah. You agree? Um, eternal. No. Um, Self-sustaining eternal. Yeah, probably potentially, yes, I guess a little bit, yes. Self-sustaining eternal. Yeah. yeah. Does not beget, nor was he begotten. Yes. Yeah. And uniquely, um, there's nothing comparable to him. Yeah. 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 So, you have the same beliefs as me. Yeah. You have the same, you agree with the same definition of Allah as me. Yeah. Now, why do I say Allah and not say God? Well, because that is from Arabic and God is English. And mm, not close, but from. completely wrong. I mean, that's okay. okay. <laughs> uh, so basically, <clears throat> when we say God, you may think like the biblical God who created the world in six days and rested on the seventh. Islam, we don't believe God, Allah needs to rest. We don't believe, some Christians believe Jesus Christ, God became a man and then died on the cross. We don't believe that. We don't believe in God being blue or having an elephant head, six oh, arms, and oh, yes, no. okay. Hinduism, yes, Hinduism, yes, yes, yeah. yes, gotcha. we don't believe in sticks or statues, we don't worship the creation, we only worship the creator. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So now the Quran uh, is objectively true, it's objectable, ex the, the next three statements I'm going to make, you can objectively verify it to be true. Yeah? Okay. So <coughs> the Quran has been perfectly preserved. Yeah. Okay, that's, uh, yeah, I mean, I have to take your word for it because I wouldn't know, would I? No, no, do your own independent research. So it will be through 
um, looking at Quran Birmingham manuscript. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got non-Muslim academics saying that it's been preserved. Yeah. Carbon date to the life of the Prophet Muhammad. Yeah. We've got over 200 million people. 200 million people memorized the Quran it's word for yes, word. Yes, no, it makes sense because it is also not as old as you know, for example, the Bible or the Torah. And I don't know anything about how perfect the Torah is. I know that the no, Bible no has been chopped around. Yeah. You know. But you know, yes, because you start, it started later as well, so there's less room for error. That's a good logical inference, but not the point I'll no, make. No, but I'll, no, I'll, I'll no. take it. I'll I know take that's it, just a side point. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Um, the Quran is the only scripture that claims to be from the Creator, from Allah, and Allah says Allah will preserve it. Yeah. So I proved, yeah. mentioned about preservation, yeah. as well as Allah says that there's no mistakes, and there's no crookedness, yeah. there's no errors. Yeah. So yeah, that's the where, next. Yeah. Thing. Go on. But where does this lead me? What, is that, what does that point lead me to? Something tangible that you can verify. If the Qur'an has a single mistake in it, yes. if it has a single contradiction in it, then it's not from the creator of the heaven and the earth. Um, it talks about si um, subjects and gets it right because Allah is the expert of all subjects. Um, it makes prophecies come, it's come true. Yeah? Okay. Um, the linguistic miracles, when we've got more time, we'll go through it. Because there's yeah. going to be a part two when you're not tired after work. And do you have any questions oh. for me? 14 seconds. 14 seconds. No, that was really, no, that was, that. You, you're absolutely right. If it, you know, Do you feel motivated to read the Quran, by the way, now? The no. one in the house? But Still not motivated? No. Oh, no. But that's, no, but I mean, you know, I'm not, um, I think, again, I think, well. But do you not think the message of Islam makes sense to you naturally in all other religions? I tell you what. Okay, so I've grown up in a super Catholic town and I thought it was just too creepy for words so I got the hell out and I moved to a different country, okay? okay. So my religious beliefs and clearly your religious beliefs are sort of on different levels, okay? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I think the Quran is, and you know what, honestly when I have time and I'm not working anymore, so maybe when I'm retired, I promise you I will have a look at it. So I'm not ruling it out. I'm not saying, I don't want to. I just literally know that at the moment I, I, I won't I have any time. I pray Allah gives you long enough life to fulfill that. Thank you. Thing. Thank you. But I mean, you know, it is interesting and I, t I totally get that. So, yes, I, you know, I'll put it on my to-do list. I won't do it right, you know. Pick the bucket years. list. Yes. Uh, no, because it is interesting. I, what I really don't like is, and that's not Islam only, I don't like how people live religion. You don't like I don't like how people live, practice religion, how we're culture. And Can you elaborate on that? What do you mean by that? Oh God, yeah, I can, but I mean, you probably don't want to hear this. No, I think, as I said, <laughs> I, so, I do. I welcome I find, it. So, as I said, I'm, I've come from a sort of really Catholic place where, and, I, and the same thing happens to the, say, the three world religions. Okay. Don't know enough about the others and see how that influences. No, that's fine, yeah. The culture of how religion is practice takes over the pure teaching so the pure teaching and is, is is a message of being good and what people talk about is your modesty one soul sister which i experienced at work which i felt terrible one sister talking to another sister because there was a bit of neck showing and i think that's not religion that's just that's culture and this is how do you know mother but because it's not it's not that doesn't opinion. make that person because the person doesn't is, is a good person and you know because if you, if you looked into all the religions yeah, yeah, but that's what mean, you know, this is what i'm saying i'm not i'm not that i'm picking that up because that's yeah, yeah, I'm valid. I respect yeah your like honesty, i said yeah. i actually left my hometown because i don't know you're all a bit too kind of you're living the you know this is this is when sunday masses and you have to go and you have to put your nice dress on and then you're being mean to your neighbor it's and you can see that in all religions yeah. and it's it's that's what I don't like about religion. So I love your attitude and I love the I love your spirit and all that. Do you, do you but profess I, yourself as an atheist? Oh. No. I started at that, but actually I'm not. No, I'm, I am a believer. I'm no, no. Actually, I'm a sort of I'm a lax Christian. So you know, I'm kind of a. I believe in a creator. So you know, I okay. I, I don't I'm, I don't mind. You know, I don't mind that you call it Allah and I call it. What? Whatever. Do you, you, know. do you believe that the creator should be the center of your life? Well, no, I, d I mean, mm, no, because otherwise I would live, wouldn't I? If I, if I believed that, I would okay. live it. Can I just ask you a question quickly? That's before the last from? question, and I really okay. need to go home. Count your blessings. Yes, and I do. And I think that's really, really hard to do that in daily life, and you sort of forget because life goes and you kind of think, but you do, I do, and I think, yes. You know what's amazing? In Arabic, insan, which we commonly translate as human, means someone who forgets. Yeah, well, yeah. Okay. exactly. So look, do you agree that the Creator 
is the one who's giving you all the provisions, who's giving you all the blessings, who's giving you all the favours, right? By, in, in, yeah, yes, I mean, yes. Okay, you know, I do, now yeah. I'm going to ask you a very, very important question mm. and it's going to make you think. Okay. If I was to give you two million pounds, what would you say to me? What would you give me? If I was to give you two million pounds, um, my goodwill, what would you say to me? My goodwill. Would you accept it, basically? Would you accept it? No. Even if you don't accept it, then would you? No. what would you say at least? Why wouldn't I? I mean, I because I don't, I mean, you know, I would say there might be other places you can give that to that probably need it more than I do. But what would you say at least? What do I say at least? What do you mean? If, even if you don't accept my offer, Yeah. what would you say at least? I would say thank you. Thank you, right? Yes. But not thank you. That's the basic. human nature to show yeah. gratitude, right? Yeah. But now I change the condition. I'll give you two million pounds on the condition you give me your two eyes. No. Why not? I wouldn't say thank you for that, no. <laughs> Why not? Um, why wouldn't I give you my eyes? For two million pounds. No, I don't my eyesight's worth more than that. Fantastic. Yeah. So you value your two eyes yeah. more than two million pounds. Yes. So why are we being grateful to the one who gave you two eyes for free? No, I am. I am. I am. In my weird in my weird way I am. And as I said, I do count my blessings. Okay. And I just I'm not Good. Religious enough to sure every day all that I'm trying to be grateful every sure. day. Now we're getting there. Okay, so yeah. in theory, in <laughs> principle, <laughs> so in principle, we can all agree that we should show our gratitude yeah. to our Creator. Okay. Absolutely. But how would you show your gratitude to Creator without knowing? So I'll ask you this question. Being a good person. See, this okay. is why this is hard for me. So, so you I'm show your gratitude. You an, yes. yes. So I'm going to ask you another question. Yeah. yeah he didn't want to hear my answer. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you back. didn't like my answer. You heard it, but you no, didn't like no, it. No, no, we actually on the same I think that, 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 but that for me is, that for me is the biggest thing. I think you need to, you need to be a nice person. You generally speaking, and you need yeah, to be good to people. I agree. And you know, we can only like and see your Palestinian, yeah. you know, it's like, I mean, it's awful. Yeah, I, I what's agree. Going on I agree. In the world, and I you agree. Think, we should be good. Yeah. That should, but the, 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 but the, the standard of good should come from my creator, right? So I'm going to ask another question. Hey, you just asked me one question. That was three questions ago. Or oh. four. And I've been here. One more question. It is. I promise you. You have to stick to it now. Last, last question. Last question. Make, last it, question. make okay. it counting. So look, if you want to buy a gift for your beloved one, well, let's say uh, your parents, okay, or your mother or your father, right? Would you buy a gift based upon what you love or based upon what they love? Probably. No, you would try and find something that they love. Okay. Luckily enough, they like the same so that kind of things. Good. Why would you? Why would you want to know what they love? <laughs> to give your gift. Oh, I hope that's that a rhetorical second, question. I hope no. that's a rhetorical oh. question. I'm gonna go. No, you go, madam. Thanks so much for your time. Um, we're here every Wednesdays. No to be continued. If you have a read through that, oh yeah, when you you may not read it now soon. Thank you so much. Have a safe day. Take care. Achi, subhanallah. Um, yeah, brain freeze because I'm literally it's too cold here. I feel like Phys literally. It's 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 <laughs> ironic. I think you know we want to follow our, our nafs, our desires. Yeah. So initially she started off saying she's atheist and then she's like she's shown loyalty to the religion she was brought up into but then she's not following that religion. So oh, I'm like leave, leave the conversation saying no, I want to read the Bible, I want to connect what the Bible teaches. Um, I didn't really get a chance to unpack that her belief doesn't coincide with any church. So she be rejected I see, I see. by church as a um, her heretic because she's rejected the Trinity. So her belief is actually closer to Islam. Okay. My dear Baba. Maybe and she may not realise that, but naturally she is. But, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if we had that conversation a bit yeah. more, yeah. then it would be good. Alhamdulillah. So may Allah grant her Islam. Um, I pray, you know, sometimes we're in the moment and they don't want to actually admit to look. This conversation has inspired me. This conversation has given me more me to read the Quran. So hopefully she will go home and actually be inspired to read the Quran. Not by anything I've said because it's innate, it's natural. Because if you exactly. we need a purpose, does that make sense? We can't define our own purpose. So if she's at least walked away with that 
um, understanding and reads the Quran by the permission of Allah and Allah grants her hidayat. So may Allah grant her Islam. And I broke my camera.